the plant was opened in the early 80s. It's built a variety of name plates and car sizes. Currently we have about 1,100 people here on the site building small car, the Sonic, EV Bolt, and of course our Cruise AV. Talk to me a little bit about, for folks who don't know or aren't familiar with how factories work, specifically manufacturing three vehicles on a single line. What's involved in that process? You could have separate lines. Uh, it would be very inefficient. So obviously the people and the facility is an asset here. And we want to leverage that to its fullest ability. The advantage is being able to integrate ICE, EV, and AV into one single line leverages the amount of space we have, the expertise we have in the operators. Also, it provides us an opportunity to be able to be more efficient than we would if we were separated. Is it unusual to have an internal combustion engine vehicle and an EV vehicle on the same line? We are probably the only plant that I am aware of that builds an internal combustion engine, an electric vehicle, and also an autonomous vehicle all on one single assembly line. And about how many EVs and ICE vehicles are produced here? So we build to order. The days of building cars just to build cars and fill up dealerships are, are long past. We have the capability, the flexibility here to be able to build uh, whatever mix is required by the orders we get from customers. These are done in, looks like batches of about six or seven vehicles at a time, depending on. So not to get into the specific strategy that we've used, like I said, we do have some sharing between our AV and our EV. We've specifically tried to understand how we can be most efficient with specific content for AV and what makes sense to be able to share on the single line. So we did develop an area within the facility to make sure that we could scale it they're set up very efficient, specific to the AV. It's just a very few operations because of the immense amount of sharing, but this was the right way to go about it. After the few operations that are done down here that are AV specific in our general assembly area, the car then gets introduced right into the same line that our uh, regular production cars would be in. And anything else that we should note about the vehicle? There's a lot of engineering that you don't see that's gone into this to make it AV capable to get the driver out of the vehicle. You know, I could go on and on and get into the nuts and yeah. bolts of it, but we've just done a fantastic job of integrating it into this facility with the people, leveraging what we believe is our competitive advantage, and that's our assembly process.